Katie, you're the little one. Uh, how old are you? Um, six. You're six? And uh, you're the Salford's mascot today? Yeah. What are you going to do? Um, run onto the field and throw the ball to somebody. You watch the toss up. You see the referee toss a coin. You would have your photograph taken today yeah. with your team. Who's your best player? Steve Kelly. Steve Kelly. This is a cup tie today, isn't it? What do you think of that? Do you think Sophie's going to win? Yeah. What score? Um. Have a guess. What will Oldham get? 2014. 2014, that's very close. Now we might see a good forecast. And, uh, have you got brothers and sisters? I've got two sisters. And your mum and dad here, are they here? Yeah. I'll tell you what to do. If you, if you wave at that camera, it's for your mum and dad when they see the video. Just wave to that camera. And uh, good luck to you, Katie. What do you say to the team? Good afternoon, it's welcome to the watersheddings for this first round Regal Trophy tie between Oldham of the first division and Salford of the second division. Let me quickly run through the Oldham team. The Oldham team this afternoon, Platt is at fullback. In the, in the backs we've got Francis, Anderson, Martin and Lord. Half backs, Clark and Ford. And in the forwards, Donegan, Russell, Fairbank, Round, McAllister and Cogger. And substitutes, Irving and Allen. Salford team, the Salford team this afternoon featuring for the first time their new change strip of yellow instead of red. Yellow shirts and black shorts and black stockings. The, the colour is yellow because sponsors of Salford, ESAB, that's their company's corporate image and it's great to see the Salford team in yellow and they were greeted to a tremendous applause from their supporters. Quickly through the Salford team, Gibson's at full back, Evans, Burkett, Gilfillan, Hadley are the three quarters. Bell and Kerry at half-back. And in the forwards, Sherratt, Lee, Leota, Bradshaw, Blees, Burgess, and the subs, Williams and Hansen. Jim, thoughts on today's game? Well, it's a big test for Salford because uh, they've had 11 straight victories in the second division. Uh, but uh, we'll see now whether they can stand the test of playing against uh, first division opposition where the pace is uh, much faster than in the second division. Uh, some of the victories have been achieved without Salford being really put under pressure. I'm sure they'll be put under pressure today uh, by an Oldham team keen to avenge their defeat in the Lancashire Cup at Salford early in the season. They've got a good line up here. Uh, strong forwards there in Fairbank. McAllister who caused so much damage to Salford in that uh, Lancashire Cup. And uh, the Australian John Cogger. We've also got a good half-back pairing there in uh, uh, Ford and uh, right, Clark, the, another Australian. Referee now going to kick off, Steve, for a, I think it's going to be a cracking game. Yes, great expectations from all of us. Referee Carter blowing his whistle and the game quickly underway. And a nice take from Kerry from the kick-off and Salford looking good in those first, first two tackles, first two drives, they gained a lot of yards. They have made it from inside their own 25 to within 10 yards of the halfway line. It's a good start from Salford. But that wasn't, Lee lost his man, couldn't get the pass out, but it has now. The 
the old to second drive of the game so far so we're to carry the kicks coming good kick lot of distance good kick into the corner but Platt has time to take it and gather but the covers there and brought down by Gilfillan and Hadley Francis won't go down but he will now good drive out good crunching tackle from the Ota and Blee Salford fans behind their team come on Salford please chasing the full back for the kick that didn't come full case chasing back for the pass to the full back that didn't come it did this time and the kick from Platt good deep kick and it's, it's lowered up quickly Gibson with the ball not quite able to get away Okay, it's at half back. Salford lined up again now. On to Blaze. Good driving run from Blaze. Oldham cover. Good enough. Burgess on his own. Kerry, another kick. No, it's not. It's along the line. Kerry again. Little kick over. And he's Kerry. Unlucky. Oh, a scramble for the ball. The referee's waved him on. It's off. Have six more tattles. That was a great little play from Kerry. When then the kick looked on. He kicked, kicked just over the top and followed it through. Was unlucky not quite to recover the ball. And again, the ball was dragged out of the Salford man's hands. But Salford have recovered again and so I get the opportunity for six more tattles. Gil Fillin recovered that time. So Salford, with all the possession early on inside their opponent's half, attacking hard until the Ota oh that was round his neck and the referee Carter rightly penalising that tackle Jim a good start for Salford a bright start it's a fierce battle as one expects as the first uh, opening of uh, any cup tie but I think uh, I think that was Paul round there who transgressed with a high tackle on Francis Leo who was coming through at great pace his head was jerked back and the referee was onto it immediately and it's the first uh, chance of the match for a score to be made and to see if Keddie's goal kicking boots are on but Salford two points in front certainly no quarter asked or given in the, those exchanges and Salford looked very sharp and very keen both uh, on attack and defence Kerry shaping up Yes, it's there, two points. After five minutes. <laughs> well, what a great start from Salford and Kerry. A fine kick there. Bricks Oldham straight back and look at this what a nice a nice take that was from Hadley over there and a good run from him getting well outside the 25 so this is Salford in possession looking to draw the Oldham players in slipping the ball loose it's Leota again he's been prominent already drop the ball oh knock on a good bait from from the Ota, but the the tattle on him uh, was just just too too hard for him on that occasion, and it forced the ball out of his hand, and the, the Salford player in support knocked on. So it's a scrum down. Oldham to put the ball in. Oldham to get the ball out, and Oldham on attack, and Platt go almost through. It was the very first time we've seen Oldham running. Platt nearly made a very decisive break, but it was Gibson's tattle who just just brought him down. In the middle of the field, 15 yards inside the Salford half. Oldham with the ball on attack. Right, then left. Sloppy pass, but it didn't matter because Clark had time to pick it up. Salford's defensive line up and down. Oldham punching in the middle. But the referee deciding that Blees was, was preventing 
the Oldham player, Clark, from playing the ball. And this gives a penalty to Oldham. The opportunity for Platt to uh, level the scores. Fair decision, Jim? Yeah, fair enough decision. Uh, interference at the play of the ball. So often I'm the one that complains most about the uh, uh, referees who allow a marling and interference through. The ball should be played quickly. Uh, that's the name of the game. And uh, I'm sure anybody who's played in Australia will tell you that Australian referees are very, very keen on that. The get away and let the ball be played, let the game flow. So a chance here for Platt to level the scores. But he's missed. Yeah, not a good kick, but here's Salford on the break. It gets Gibson in the line. It was a great take from Gil Fillon onto Gibson, and Lot they've made oh something like 28 yards from their own line already. Hadley with the ball, but but nowhere to go that time. Well, perhaps a let off for Salford, but they're two points in front, and that's all that matters. Great support from the Salford contingent behind the post at the the cop end today. And Salford with the ball again. It's Oldham. They will be out to avenge that defeat in the Lancashire Cup earlier in the season. But there's Leota again. And he's got his pass out to, to Fell. And Fell's... Oh, that was unlucky. Well, that was great play, but Salford lost the ball after all that. After great play from the Ulta onto Fell. And, and Fell lost the ball and trying to keep the move alive. Oldham then with possession. With Platt. And that's the second time that Platt's got through. Almost through. But this time he gets his pass out. But it's that ever-reliable Evans watching his man. And it's, it's Paul Lord that he had well covered and pushed him into touch but each, each time Platt's got the ball Jim we've we've seen the potential for openings from the Wigan point from the Oldham point of view yeah no danger a very elusive runner and there's another example of how Salford made a mistake and at uh, this level you can't do that Oldham casting on it immediately and, and launched a very swift counter attack it's a good thing that uh, Evans was watching for that pass and had the man covered and, and pushed into a touch to give Salford what should be possession from this scrum. But uh, certainly going to be a very keen match this. And uh, we've lost the ball from that scrum, Steve. Yes, we can't afford to lose the ball in those situations. I mean, the, the ball hardly went in, but here's Oldham now. And Salford will have to defend it. It's flat again. Every time he's had the ball, he's, he's made a half break or a full break. But it was a good tattle to keep, to keep him out. But here's Oldham still going. Drop the ball. Referee waving it on. Waving it on. Six more to Oldham. Now Oldham looking lively. McAllister back after inju injury. And we know what, a fall, what, he, what he's capable of. Enormous strength and power. Oldham along the line. That was round and it's round still going. Just outside the cell for 25. 25 they can't get him down and he gets the ball away. And it's Cogger. That's good tackling from Salford. But perhaps they should have put him down the first half. And in fact, Salford are lining up right. And Oldham are, are going up to go to their right. And there's the pass along the line. Oh, and the kick through. Will Gibson get there? Yes, he will, but he's fumbled it. And who's got the ball? Fumbled it backwards, says the referee. Let off for Salford. Gibson was there when it mattered and did all the right things. And there's Hadley involved. We've seen a lot of Hadley so far this game, doing the right things. So that was good play from Oldham, putting Salford back under pressure. Salford have to bring it out now from their own lines. He might have fumbled it, but it was a great pickup from Gibson. But look at Leota going. He looks good. He looks lively. Bringing the ball away. Made several good drives. And that was an exam, but here's Gibson with a half break. Now, I thought that... Yes, he has. He agreed with me. The, ref the referee did say that there was an interception. So Salford have six more tattles. The Oldham player touched the ball. <laughs> oh, now. Salford not getting that ball away quickly enough. But there's almost a half break. And yes, he's Evans almost away. He is away. But the cover too good for him. I think that was Donegan back covering then. That was a, a forward back and uh, just holding Evans back. But the passing's going a long way along the line. And there's an inside pass to Leota. But no, Salford lost some 10 yards in that move. The passing was, was perhaps not sharp enough to break the cover. There's the kick on the last tackle. And Platt, a lot of time to pick that ball up comfortably. And they'll know now, Salford, that they've got to get Platt down. And even so, made a couple of extra yards inside the Salford half. Oh, that was McAllister and Ford. 
getting in each other's way and, and Ford will probably know that McAllister bumped into him then. No, it wasn't McAllister, it was Francis. But look at this, look how dangerous Oldham are. Salford have got to tattle in numbers. That was that was Cogger, and it's how dangerous Oldham are. But that was a good tattle. Now and it's Oldham we're playing today. Look at that, right along the line. Look, that's that's found the gaps. That's a great sidestep and break from round. And the men inside, opportunity here for Oldham. But no recovering tattle. That was rounding the move. It's the last tattle, but the referee giving the penalty. And in the end, it was Clark who was, was brought down just short of the post, and Salford have conceded the tattle. Jim, Oldham looking good then. Oh, yes, certainly put Salford with a lot of pressure in the last uh, period of this uh, first uh, s spell. And um, looked very lively indeed, and Salford are now. Uh, uh, having to defend far to a far greater extent than they've had uh, in their league matches so far, and there's the points to all. Uh, so, well, it's been uh, a period of ascendancy by Oldham, and Platt will go for touch. They were good play from Oldham in that attack previously that led led to the incident which gave them the penalty, and here they are almost at the halfway line again. Fairbank with the first drive. Now Donegan, the second one. Salford going to have to get into top gear, going to stay into top gear. The ball's coming out left. There's round again. Well, that was a good tackle from Burkitt. He couldn't get away that time. And Leota's there as well. But that's a knock on. So, relief for Salford. Yes, well, that's a mistake from Oldham, uh, a rare one so far. Uh, and that incident, I don't think Blaze was just to uh, check himself there. The man had been well stopped. There's no need for a follow-through little dig at him. But uh, there's uh, Kerry scooting around and a bit of difficulty getting that ball cleanly from the scrum. That means that they must be a bit outweighted in the pushing in the scrum. There's Gibson coming through now. Yes, even when it's all for putting up the scrums, the Oldham forwards seem to have extra strength today. But Kerry did well to recover the ball. Burkitt back to Gibson. No, nowhere to go for Gibson. Surrounded by tacklers. Now that's an interesting kick because Evans on a chase for it. Is it going to make it? It has a brilliant kick into touch. And Evans seeing it coming was following up well. Good kick from Salford. Puts them on the attack. So now it's Oldham. Well inside their own 25. They're, they're put in. But the Salford four was driving ahead of the ball going in the scrum and being penalised. And that's an understandable reaction from the Salford pack who realised that they've been pushed about by Oldham at the previous scrum. And that's a good clearing kick. But that was Ford, the old pro that he is, just delaying his put in just momentarily. Oh, and look how he got the ball away. Then Fairbank, that was a, a, great, a great flick out just as he was going down to a man backing up Ford. So it's Oldham inside their own half round. But uh, looking as though they, uh, they mean business today. Oh, what a great run through that is for Anderson on the way through. And it's the kick over. What a brilliant take by Gibson that was. And Gibson's clear as well. What fantastic rugby from both teams. It was Anderson for Oldham on the right-hand side. He saw his colleagues waving for the ball in the middle. He kicked it. And Gibson stretched his, his hands out and caught it like a cricketer. And they could probably could do with him down under as well. But he's an Australian. It doesn't matter. It was a great recovery from Gibson. Then he made a few vital yards to break down that attack. But himself in possession again. And it's, it's Leota. And they're now bringing the ball. Oh, that was a cruncher from McAllister. On Bradshaw. But Bradshaw gets up and it's the kick has to come. Salford can't find a way through. And that's another good kick. 
great exciting play from both teams Jim yes and there we saw an example I think uh, a bit of outweighted there where uh, uh, that shot was well knocked down by Charlie McAllister uh, but uh, that previous uh, incident a great run by uh, the Oldham backs and a kick swift kick through and there oh it's a free kick is given at the scrum well, Salford are suffering a bit here on the free kick count. He's uh, reckoning that the loose forward was offside and came round too soon. So it's Oldham again with a free kick and advantage of uh, possession in Salford's half. Scrum's going Oldham's way. And what a good kick that was from Platt. And Oldham going forward. Oldham showing their first division strength. But Salford so far a match for it. Oldham, Salford defending well. Oldham lining out, working on a move. Fairbank, well put down. Oldham going to their left with McAllister with a little kick. And it's Evans who's got the ball. Well taken by Evans under pressure. So Salford defending again, but with the ball inside their own. Inside their own 25. Hanging on to possession. There's a good driving run from Sherratt. Salford having difficulty to, to find a gap, but they're talking well to each other. They're looking to keep the ball alive, but they've lost it, and it's play on. And this is going to give Oldham an advantage if they get it out along the line. They have done, but it was an inside pass, and it must be, it must be a knock-on, but the referee has allowed advantage, which gives Salford the opportunity to regain the ball. And so can Gibson find a gap now? He found, but almost, almost through. But just hanging on to the ball, and rightly so. Well, that was exciting. Possibilities there for, for Oldham. Just snuffed out at the last minute. Leota involved all the time. Looking good today. Working hard. He's looking for the man to pass to. Couldn't find him. Sherratt. And this time it's McAllister who's penalised for an incident at that uh, play of the ball. Give Salford a breather. Yes, I'm not quite sure what they were trying to do with it. I think he was trying to backheel the ball as he came away from the from the tackle. But uh, again, the referee's very quick on it. The ball uh, was not being played because of interference, and it's another free kick. Uh, Salford are finding it very torrid here. They, they should perhaps try to make something out of this, but. They've held very well on defence. Let's hope they can keep it up and uh, maybe Oldham might crack. Well, Salford haven't cracked. But certainly Oldham's had most of the attacking. And it's Leota again with the ball. Salford still talking to each other about what move they were going to do then and the play was going on. But it's now it's over across the line. Back to Kerry. Oh! <laughs> that was unfortunate. Bradshaw found himself in a in a clear offside position after Blees was unable to take the ball from that Kerry pass. So things not quite going Salford's way at the moment. And it's Oldham again. But all that Salford's defence is, is holding out well. We've had just over 20 minutes to play and it's still two points each. That's Francis with the, with the ball. Bradshaw playing well. And it's going along the line to Platt. Salford defensive line up quickly that time to take him down. Over, over to a nice little side step, but it still goes down. That's Clark. It's going a long way over. It's almost an interception, but no. And now there's an opportunity. That's Anderson again. Anderson made a break before. Gilfil and half went for the interception and was, was then in two minds about what to do, but it was good recovery from Salford. And it's still Oldham. Oldham throwing the ball out and almost through, but there's still men in the line. It's McAllister. And now there's an overlap on this side with, with Fairbank. But he can't put him down. And they're all through, but only dropped the ball right at the very last tackle. His pass out to Cogger was dropped. That was exciting play from Oldham. And it looked all over a try, but for a mistake with the vital, vital last pass. Salford lucky not to concede there, Jim. Yes, uh, I think. Oh, and then lost the ball again, Salford. That's uh, and they'll be punished again for that mistake. 
you cannot afford to drop balls there in that position and Salford have done it uh, well I think the player has been injured so maybe there was some excuse he may have got a knock as he received the ball I think uh, Duncan Platt there would have been better to have passed the ball rather than try to ghost in and uh, they're definitely under siege now with a Salford player on the floor receiving attention kick over normal and it's a drop out I think it's going to be he did well there Gibson to uh, recover that ball yeah Salford did well then they were down to 12 men for that period of play because Gibson who'd had the knot was receiving attention and it was Burkitt who sensibly went to cover the fullback position and between them they they made the ball safe after that kick through from Ford. So we're still here with two points each, but Oldham looking ominously on top in this period of play. But there's a long way to go in this game, and that's an excellent kick out from Kerry right to the halfway line. On to Francis. And, and Francis hoping allowed to get away with that one. And he's of course he gets rolled right through. And he's all the way through. Oh no! And he's gone right on. Who scored? Well. Would you believe it? After that situation where everybody thought, including the Oldham team, the Oldham fans, that it was a knock-on, he raced through and passed on to Russell's score right by the post. Jim. I think, in, I think that was the most unfortunate. Uh, I think the referee there must uh, really study that. The rule on knock-on is if the ball is handled and goes forward in any way I know that he ran past the ball afterwards but the ball went forward from uh, Francis uh, it was a knock on he was allowed to recover it the referee said the ball went backwards but uh, there it is you must give credit for the brilliant run through that he made a very swift very incisive uh, and the try scored and there's uh, Oldham now 8-2 Well, that, that'll be disappointing. Let's hope the Salford players don't lose heart at that. That was an extremely fortunate decision from Oldham's point of view, which, in all fairness, this man Francis capitalised on. But Salford will know there's still a long way to go in this game. And they've got the ball. They've got the ball. Francis is, is still down. And that's Gil Fillin going strongly. So here's... Salford's best attacking opportunity so far not many yards out they're lined out but they're not moving now Salford have got to move that's a bit you've got to be moving forward with men to pass to running onto the ball it's Kerry coming on the line it's to Sherrett and back to Kerry but, but to Fell to Fell's nearly making a half break what a shame he couldn't stay on his feet then because there were opportunities then the defence had been drawn in onto Leota Leota's a good strong player wisely hanging onto the ball now Salford 10 yards from the Oldham line it's going out left but they're not lined out properly yesterday but it doesn't matter and it's Gibson and it's, it's still Gibson Gibson's nearly there oh what brilliant play from Salford and what brilliant play from 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 Gibson to be up in the line but it's the handover great play from Salford and the referee must stop the play now because the injury to Francis is so serious I think nobody had noticed that in all the excitement, but that really was a tremendous period of play from Salford. Well, rugby league is a tough game. Francis is, is walking off and ultimately deciding whether to make a substitution or not. As it is, it's Salford down here, right in front of us, tackling hard, trying to keep Oldham inside their own 25. Fell and Burkitt hanging on to Fairbank, gets the ball out to Russell, a long pass to McAllister, and that's a big kick. And Oldham running up fast but Oldham's there, well taken, well taken by Gibson oh, and what a break inside from Gibson Gibson's having a storm oh, look at this run, look at that that's magnificent play from Gibson the man who always 
raise, raises his game from his, his own very high level. And that's out to Burkitt, but there's nowhere to go, but he gets the ball out to Fell, and Fell's seen a half-back, and he's still going, but he couldn't quite get his ball away. And he's still Salford. Along the line, Gibson's in the line again, over to Blees. And it's out to Hadley. And what can Hadley do? Almost three. Almost through. But it's still Salford. He's going right along that. Is he going to kick? No, he's not. Oh, but... But the ball drops and Oldham picked the ball up. Oldham with 12 men. Francis has gone off and, and they're waiting to make the substitution. Irving would come on. But there's Platt still going. No, Francis has gone off and Francis has come back to great applause from the Oldham supporters. So, Oldham back to 13 men. Francis walked round, went off. Had a smelly salt and there's Russell. Almost breaking clear, but if he's not, then it was Anderson who was up in support. That was good play, but the Salford cover was also good enough for them. Now the ball's going to come out left from the Oldham side. And it's Duncan Platt. Oh, now just getting through. And almost away, but they can't put Lord down. They need to put him down. And they have done. Well, that was Tommy Martin who drew his man very well then before passing. And that's going to be the big bomber. Who's under that? Oh, that was, that was comfortably taken by Arthur Bradshaw. Waited for it. Watched it all the way into his hands. Ian Blees. He's striding out. Not quite able to get through. 15 yards inside the Salford half. Leota. Come on, Salford. Chance from the Salford supporters. Oldham, eight points to two in front. Fell and Kerrick but the first division team saw that move coming were up fast and snuffed it out so Salford lost ground but there's Kerry ducking and weaving and that was making a few good yards but losing the ball is something you can't do when you're playing in the first in the first division opposition I think there was a slight suspicion you know that the man was being tackled as the ball came to him that's why he lost it he was pulled back but uh, it's just one of those split second things and there's Oldham Driving through now. Kick through, but it's going a touch and go. Oh well. The ball just going dead. Hit the corner flag and it's off as tap out from the 25. So that was Oldham again putting together a good series of plays, looking sharp, and the kick through was had Salford in all all kinds of problems before it hit the, the corner flag and Salford able to take the tap from the, the 25 and Sherrits gets the ball out but as fast as he gets the ball out it's the next man who gets tackled and it was it was Lee so Salford coming down the by said there's a good driving run from the Ota good driving run but but tackled by two men and somebody complaining here something or other well, what do you think was going on then, Jim? I think he's signalling that he was bitten, but I think if you put your hand over somebody's mouth and try to yank his head back, you're likely to get bitten. Uh, he's complaining, Brett Clark, but the referee has penalised him yeah, for that. And uh, the ball came right into our camera point here. Well, I'm sure th those, those reactions from, from Martin were completely unfounded. But it's here, Salford, with the ball, three men tackles, bringing them down. Mez Gilfiller nearly saw, it saw, it saw the half, half yard, but couldn't quite get through. But Arthur Bradshaw sees David Fell following up. But David Fell taken down by an Oldham player. And there's the kick up. And the Salford players are all up at it. But it's well taken by Duncan Platt. At the time he took the ball, uh, there, were, there was no sulphur player actually breathing, breathing down his neck. And that's another clearing run from Lord. Now it's going over to Donegan. Bringing it out to the 25. Salford having to work hard. Oldham having to work hard. Not an easy game, but what a sidestep, and it's Russell away. And he can't get his pass away. No, that was a great cover tattle from Kerry and Leota together. 
but now the ball's going out right but it's McAllister not quite getting the ball away but Francis has and this time Hadley hangs on tight and there's the little chip through from Clark but that's well taken by Lee on to Gibson who passes it out to Burgess and there's his long one to Evans and that's a nice one to Burkett who just keeps on to it oh but look at that there are so many olden men racing around this field and covering everything that Salford are doing but that was a tackle around Evans's head is he going to carry will he kick will it be a little kick will he not kick will he see a gap he does but he can't make it through and he's lost the ball so Oldham gets up with the ball. And Cogger. So, Oldham, 33 minutes gone, and there's Paul Round. What a very decisive sidestep that was, and, and Blee's hanging on well to stop him getting clear. Oh, look at that little jinking run from Ford, taking taking the ball to the man hanging on drawing the men in and getting it out wide and now here's it coming right along the line oh look at that as well great play from Fairbank to get the ball out of that tattle platting support and Salford did well to to hang on to him now what's going to happen another kick through is it going to go dead yes it was too far ahead so it's another drop out it's another kick from Salford 25 Oldham and Mark in Leota. Nice one out to Kerry, to Fell, to Blees. Oh, but leaving it to Gilfillan. Not quite able to get away. Oldham man had hurt in that tackle over there. David Fell deciding to go on his own. To Gibson, who's going to kick. That's going to be taken by Platt. A chance to run. Good tackle from the two Salford attackers. Hold them slow and coming back here. But Francis driving forward. Now it's coming out left. The Cogger. And he gets his ball out. Oh! <laughs> oh. Two knock ons there. Well, well, yeah, Clark was so anxious to get the ball out then he sort of he didn't sort of pass it. He knocked it, uh, knocked it straight over, and it was Winger Lord who knocked on. Let's see what Salford can do from this scrum. Carries put in. Yes, it's come out on their side. It's come out on the Salford side if they can find it. Referee deciding that there's no way out. Oldham dominating the scrums, Jim. Yes, they're, they're pushing well together, and they've got extra weight there. I think. Uh, we won that ball but couldn't actually get it released from the pack. The same again, it's coming out to Oldham. And Oldham have got it again, they pushed us off it. And they're getting the ball right out along the line. Oh, and that's... <laughs> that was fortunate then for Salford that, that Martin couldn't collect that ball cleanly. But there's Platt in the line. And something's happening over here. Talking. Well, sometimes we are aware that uh, Ian Blees does, does tend to talk, but as captain, he's the man who has to find out what's going on, to talk to his players, to find out why decisions are being made, but the referee penalising in that time. And so it's Oldham with the ball again, 12 yards inside the Salford half, and the referee stopped play just for a minute. But his play on now. It's Oldham with the ball again on attack. Oldham, eight points to two in the lead. That was McAllister bringing men in. But it goes out along the line to Round. Round couldn't get the ball out. And we're about three or four minutes to half time. And there's Platt in the line. Self of man injured. Ford inside to Fairbank and he's getting the ball out and it's still going on around Ford going on his own and there's a man to pass to but what a great pass and it's and where's the sulfur cover is it good enough yes it is good enough 
and he Salford recover the ball and that was good and it's Gibson with a chance to break not quite get able to get clear but that was great play from Oldham and an even better defence from Salford and here's Evans wanting to go on his own and he's almost away and that was a head-eye tackle and that man rightly penalised and that ought to be a yellow car defence but that was a scrum that we won cleanly enough and the ball went along the line for, for Kerry to, to try to make the break. Burkitt, what can he do? He's, he almost breaks around one man, but in the end there are too many of them. And it's still Burkitt getting up, going out right. Strong defence from Oldham on Burgess. To Leota, good inside pass. Well, you can see for yourself, it's three yards from the line and who's going to get the drive on anybody anybody a yard short of the line four of them running in which way is it going to go oh and the ball kicked dead by please please was definitely obstructed as he went through but an interesting tactic yes uh, certainly Oldham can count us so very fortunate there that uh, Sofa didn't score and didn't get a free kick for the obstruction on Blaze as he kicked that ball through. But to hell now, Oldham are counter-attacking fiercely. But Salford have shown that they're quite capable of putting Oldham under extreme pressure. They're not uh, cowed by this uh, uh, experience of coming here to a first division ground. Brett Clark now and it's four round, strong run. The wipeout, the wipeout of the tackle there. Yep, a timely interception. Six more to Oldham. Now, it's important that Salford don't concede a try at this stage of the game. We've barely two minutes to half time. McAllister. McAllister running through, almost getting his pass away. But comfortably brought down. And now it's going out right. Clark. Good tattle from Salford. Keep tattling Salford. Half back there. Oh, and the pass, the pass drops. Ooh. Back to Gibson inside your own 25. Can Gibson find that break? Not this time. Well, bit of a wild kick, but I think that's half time. Good first half, John. Jim, exciting game. Yes, Oldham deserve to be ahead, but Salford can uh, look back and a whole number of mistakes but they've played very very well on extreme pressure and they've shown that they're every bit as good as Oldham on attack at times put Oldham under fierce pressure very, some fluttering hearts among the Oldham supporters down here below us uh, that's uh, always a sound when they can, you can hear them shouting crack him uh, <laughs> they don't like their opposition the only bad spot really again must refer to that a terrible to see a player asking his teammate to deliberately delay the play the referee standing there really ought to have ticked off McFord severely right well here we are right start at the second okay. half any Brief reflections on the first half, Jim. Good performance from Salford. Good performance. So Oldham deserve their lead. But Salford have shown that they're not uh, overawed and playing very well on defence. They're having to because Oldham's had some very strong attacks. We'll see what happens in the second half. See if Oldham can continue their uh, form. Uh, no, I don't, don't see any changes, Steve. I think it's the same team out. Yes, no changes on the Salford side. Oh, that's a slack pass. There is one change on the Oldham team. It's, it's Allen that's on in the forwards. And Salford having difficulty bringing him down. But now Salford have got to start at the top of the game. They've got to, if they can, get a score back soon. And there's the kick early on. It's a good deep kick. It's to Gibson, comfortably taken by him. Oh, both substitutes on for Oldham. Substitutions at half time for Oldham, Richard Russell and Sean Allen replaced Tommy Martin and Richard Russell. Sorry, Richard Irving is on a sub. Richard Irving is on. Burgess going forward then. 
Bradshaw following him for the pass if there was one. It's going right through the hands quickly. Oh, that was a wild pass. Evson recovers. Back to Gibson. Gibson still going. Look at Gibson. First of left and then right. But finally brought down. And that's Lee making ground. But straight into Platt's arms. Platt. Look at this great pass out from Platt, and it's the winger who's clear. And what's he going to do? He's going to go on the other way, and it's all but Evans has got him. Magnificent recovery from Evans. Brilliant play from Platt and Lord, but better cut play still from Evans, who recovered. And there's Evans again. And it's Oldham still with the ball outside the 12 to 25. Oh, and he's straight through, right under the post. After all that work, it was Donegan. One missed tackle, and there was a score by the post. Jim. Yes, well, uh, brilliant try. The man took his chance well, ran through the middle. There was a gap. Salford were a bit sixes and sevens after that break up the wing. Uh, the one good thing about it, though, that every Salford player was back. They weren't players walking back still, but uh, still they were a bit sixes and sevens after having to run back all that way. And... Uh, Oldham now scored a very vital try. This was just should make it 14 points to two. Very difficult hill to climb for Salford now, Steve. Salford to have an early score. It was Oldham who's done it, and there they added the points. So it's 14 points to two. Fourteen points to do, and it's carried to restart. Well, there's still a long way to go. There's 35 minutes in the game. Salford are playing well, they're not playing badly. They've found an Oldham team probably at the top of the form, an Oldham team having to prove that they're the first division team, an Oldham team that haven't done very well in the last few weeks, and so they themselves will be fired up for this one. It's a cup competition, anything can happen. Salford by no means out of it at 14 points to two, and playing well enough still to score a try or two, but here's Oldham on the attack again, on the burst, and what Oldham are doing, they're bursting sharply, and they're getting the ball out. A great period of play that brought that try from them right along the line that was fell down his legs and a long time before the extra cover came in and Blee's there half tackled and then walked away from him but it was fell hung onto his legs in the end it was three men needed to bring him down and the Oldham player still had the chance to get the ball away if needed now that's a bad back pass but Platt has time to recover Blee's is chasing him but that's going to bounce into Evans's arms now the Oldham players are on side and tackle Evans carry over to Gibson brought down by Irving Salford finding it very difficult to to break through this this tight Oldham cohesive line but Blees is doing, almost. Brought down two Oldham tattlers. And there's a nice little kick over. Not perhaps far enough. And it's broken back to Oldham, who've recovered that ball. So it was a thought about move, but didn't quite come off. And here's Oldham. Oldham back in the driving seat 14 points to two in the lead on the button and Salford allowed to recover that ball there that was good play from Gilfil and it looked for a second to me as though he might have knocked it on himself but as it is he's got the ball they're in the Oldham half and Bradshaw releases Fell jinx one way but can't find his way through now can, can Salford come back into this game there's Leota good run good strong run uh, it's along the line and it's an overlap here and there might be a chance here for, for, for Hadley but no he's well taken but that was nice play from Salford it was crisply along the line they, they almost had the extra man but the Oldham cover was there now what can Salford do that's got a long pass taking them back a long way Burkitt back inside to Blees and Blees is almost going but and couldn't find a, a man to pass to as he went down but Salford's still on the attack 
to Sherrett. Sherrett, good, strong run to, to Kerry. And they must be a yard short of the line. And it was the handover. That was a good period of play from Salford. It was a very bright attack there by Salford. A series of attacking moves that's had the Oldham rocking on the heels. I think that, that's, that's what the game needs now is for Salford to get a score. But he's penalised Salford again. They've been there now. Definitely been on the wrong end of the penalty count today. Gained something at the play of the ball. But let's hope that Salford can uh, keep the pressure on Oldham. Keep them penned down there and get a try. Maybe that will set up a very exciting finish. First tax is to keep them down there. Good double tackle involving Go Fulham, but look, this is man men fast on the break. Well, that's a good tackle from Leota and Sherritt. Good two man crunching tackle. Rich Oldham looking with options and fair banking, but getting the ball out like he has done so many times today. McAllister. Oh, that's good tackle to get cut. McAllister down. That was Felon Burgess. And there's the kick through. That's gained a lot of yards. Going into touch. Oh, that's a good kick right along the ground. About five yards inside Salford's 25. And, and what makes this game slightly different from the ones that we're used to seeing is that the that Salford putting the ball in are not necessarily getting the ball out. So if the Oldham pack have showed what appeared to be a superior strength by pushing the Salford falls off the ball but let's let's hope that doesn't happen this time leota has got both feet off the ground now where's the ball in that lot and uh, this time referee penalizes Oldham for handing the ball out and Salford have the penalty this will be a relieving penalty to them and we'll give Kerry the chance to make a few yards Oldham 14-2 in front Seven or eight minutes into the second half. Good kick, about ten yards short of halfway. And Sherrett driving on. This is going to... Oh, Arthur Bradshaw. Nice drive. A few more yards. Now, can they make that decisive one? Kerry on to, to Blees, but going backwards. And now it's Hadley's turn, but well tackled by, by Anderson. So Salford lost yards at, at that one. And now it's Blees going forward. Oh, looking, to, looking to pass and having the ball knocked from his hands. But good recovery to, to stop Brown getting under underway. And now it's still Oldham. Gibson out of position at the moment, but back in position. Platt with the ball then. It's Oldham still going. Salford still tattling. Now it's purpose in this Oldham move. And there's the break almost from McAllister, but well read by the three Salford defenders who kept hold of him and pulled him down. That's Gil Fillin, please. And he's coming out right. And a little kick through, just going into touch. Nice kick through from the Oldham attack. Oldham's put in straight out into Platt in the line. <laughs> and Platt stopping Gibson getting look at Gibson in there to Cocky getting Cocky down. But now there's a break on. Almost. Good tattle on Anderson. By Burgess. Oldham on there, Salford 25, coming around, Malakau standing around, that's a good long pass out to Fairbank, who's going, puts it inside to Francis, who's got clear, and he's all the way on his own, shrugging off the tackles, and going cleanly behind the post. Well, Salford looked as though they got him covered, Jim, but he was just too good for them. He's a very strong player, uh, Francis, and uh, he brought the tackles quite easily. I think Salford now looking a little dejected, I don't see why they should be. Uh, this will do them a lot of good. They've been winning matches by big scores in the second division. It's always a bit of a handicap uh, in one way. You win your matches easy against second division 
opposition and you come up against uh, first division rugby and you find the pace is uh, much faster uh, and the uh, tackling harder so far I think you're going to make two substitutions now but uh, certainly I think this game has uh, gone from them now that's uh, 20 points to two I don't think there's any way back for Salford except to put up a spirited uh, last half hour and get some points on the board So that puts Oldham comfortably in front now by 20 points to two. And two changes on the Salford team. Kerry goes and Blees go off and are replaced by Williams and Hansen. Now we'll see if, if Hansen can, can stiffen up the, the Salford tackling. Although it has to be said that their tackling display really has, has been very good today. But what you find out is that against first division opponents you only need to miss one tackle and that results in a try but here are Oldham again almost on the break but that's good crunching tackles from Salford Williams involved there for the first time Williams perhaps if he's a replacing replacing Kerry look at that pass out during the tackle James Williams going to going to play at scrum half do you think I'm not sure they may put fell at scrum half we'll see at the first scrum but uh, Hadley with the ball here. Got that ball away nicely. Got that ball away nicely, Hadley there, Steve. And now. Oh. Juggled with it there. But just held on. Yes, adventurous play. Inside your own half there is Shane Hansen's first first drive since he's since he's come on the field. Now will we see Salford getting back into this game. Bradshaw. Lost the ball again. And that has been noticeable today that, that Salford have lost the ball far too many times. And that was Leota going for for, for Fairbank. It was Fairbank who created the opportunity for Francis for that previous try but he just shrugs him off and that was a good pass to Donegan but even better tattles from Fell, Bradshaw and Williams little run around move and look at that and almost three if you don't tattle them they keep running these Oldham team so it's Oldham again on attack coming out wide almost through he is through Paul round is through he's looking for his support and he's got plenty of support and from Clark that time and Clark just overrun by his man but he's still going out but in the, the last pass just a little bit too adventurous and it was Irving who who knocked on giving Salford the opportunity to uh, hopefully recover possession from this scrum so it's it's fell who's gone to scrum half and Williams gone to stand off and Fell wins the scrum but his pass pass to Gibson <laughs> just taken at the second attempt by Gibson so Salford have possession with Hansen but no way through strong team Oldham fast team and so is Evans but no way through that time a one to one and round tattled Tappleton. Selfish done inside their own half looking to try and make a break and there's a little interesting kick through and it's Williams chasing through but but Lord picked it up comfortably almost got away but good tackling from Salford to put him down down there Williams looks sharp on that uh, that, that kick through oh and look at that that's a Francis again over there on the left hand side of the field no it wasn't it was Irving sorry Irving going good but look at this run almost through that was Cogger that time Oldham lining out 
McAllister. Well taken by Sherritt. Good tackle from Sherritt. And a kick through that might find touch. It might not. Gibson's going after go. Gibson's seen that the men up. He's had to take it. Where can he go? Four men there. Well taken. Tackled by Gibson. Gibson gets up to try and play the ball. Can't play the ball. We've got it to Hadley. Can't get away. To Leota. Crunching tackle. And McAllister, rightly and finally penalised by the referee for holding Leota down. Well, we always knew that it was going to be a tough game, and it certainly proved that. But Salford by no means disgraced. They're working hard, they're playing well. Although they might be 20 points to two down. And that was Sherritt. Losing the ball in the tackle. And still playing. At well, bit of confusion there. The ball must have been taken out of Sherritt's hand when he was on the floor. Should have been a penalty. But referee was unsighted. Looked to the linesman. Who um, decided not to contribute. So... It was adjudged to be a scrum and Oldham feed. Oh, now is an opportunity. Not quite. But a knock-on given. Well, that was a sharp scrum from, from Oldham. Chance from Oldham, but they fluffed it up. Yes, and uh, I'm afraid some uh, Oldham fans seem to think that no penalty should ever be given against them. They should get them all. Uh, quite clearly that that was dropped as, as the first ball was dropped by Salford as uh, Gibson trying to make progress there in the centre half position and there's a great run that great run from Gibson wasn't held at the play of the ball they had played it to himself and now that puts Salford on attack what a great player Gibson is now they're a yard short of the line can they go over for a try if they can, they can come right back into this game. Not being allowed to get up. Almost over. What a great run from Gibson. What a wholehearted player Gibson is. Always wanting the ball. Always wanted to, to do more than his fair share. And it's Lee. He's, who's he going back to? No. Oldham tackle is still too good. Now what are Salford going to do? Are they going to break this Oldham defence? Can they get home over for a score? It's coming out left to Bradshaw, to Williams, but the attack out, the defence out so fast, it leaves to Sherrett, and is Sherrett going to go on his own? <laughs> Tattled by the Oldham player, and I think there's a quite a serious injury there. A number of two old players down, and the referee stops the play. Well, it's Salford to play on. And there's Evans on the run, almost through to the line. And he hands on. And there's the sixth tackle. That was a great play from Salford. In that previous instance, it was McAllister who was injured. And he got up looking decidedly groggy. But he was down for, for two or three minutes and is still uh, needing attention. But in the sixth tackle, that was good play from Salford. And it was Evans who almost was able to get over the line. So we still have more than 15 minutes left to play. And Salford's fighting to the end. They're, they're outgunned here, and it's 20 points to two, but they're still uh, maintaining a high work rate. Uh, 
Oh, well taken there by Hadley. He's taken down by Cogger, but... Uh, And there's Shane Hansen driving through. Let's hope so we can keep the ball up here and make that final break to get a point, uh, some, a try on the board. That's right, Jim. And that was Hadley looking sharp when Oldham put that kick through. Hadley had to really motor for a few yards to pick, to collect the ball, but then wasn't quite able to get clear of, of Cogger following it up. So it's still, Salford's still going forward. Little kick through by Lee. The chase is on. But Platt's safely there, and Gilfillan has got him. Good play, Gilfillan. So it's. And Hadley. Not. Yes. Down. No, Gilfillan again. And it's Oldham now, bringing the ball from their line. Perhaps they're starting to think that the game's won. Would be nice if Salford could disprove them. Salford have it all to do, 20 points to two down. These three tries, each converted to level. Sherrick just been receiving attention. Fifth tackle. So what will Oldham's play be? They're all lined out to their left. Will it be the kick? It is, it's the little kick over the top, which Williams has taken nicely. He's watched that all the way into his arms. That was nicely taken. So. Here is Salford with the ball again inside the Oldham half. And Evans going. And he gets the ball out. Now there might be possibilities. But Fell not quite able to get the ball away. There's Hansen. Getting the ball out to Sherrett. With Ford round his neck. Going out right. Fell holding on. Seeing the Oldham cover up so quickly, deciding to hang on to him himself. A little kick through from Lee. That was a nice kick through and has gained them, gained them some good yards. Quiet period of play, Jim. So yes, and Salford are keeping them down there. That's the main thing. They've kept Oldham down there for quite a spell now, so they've not allowed that, uh, that uh, two, the two tries in the second half that really destroyed their hopes. They've not allowed them to uh, destroy their commitments. And they're still battling hard out there for the pride. And certainly no Salford fan uh, can really uh, criticise them too harshly for today's performance. They've played very hard, but it's been Oldham's day. And uh, I think, if anything, the real uh, difference has been the pace on the wings. Yes, that's right. Because look at this. I mean, this is Salford tackling as if it's the first minute of the game. This is a brilliant tackling stint from Salford. Keeping them right down inside their own 25 and not able to get away at all. Brilliant play from Salford. And so it's going to be the kick. It's a good long kick. It's going back miles. Hadley should have been up quicker. Hadley well tackled, there's Gibson trying to go one way, still getting his pass out, Evans in the line, now is the chance he's on for them, Gil Fillon still going, still going, and that was good play from Salford, it's coming out now, Hansen driving on, looking to release the ball, Salford going through a good period of play here, both on defence and on attack, they're swinging the ball out well, there's there's Lee going forward. Right, so now they're in the Oldham 25. Is there a move on? It's going out a long way to Williams. No, nothing on. Telegraphed. A little kick through. Flattened after the ball. Oldham recover. Get the ball out. And that was a good... A good relieving run from Platt. Oh, so they got to keep them down there again. So 
a third tackle. Self for tackling as well now as as they have done at any period of the of the game. That's great credit to them. You see, it's even when that man was nearly th nearly through. Peter Williams there was to help Gil Fillin, and so it's going to Platt. Straight to Gibson. Well taken by Gibson. Now what will Gibson do? Looking to pass, and he's got it out to Burkett. Burkett recovered well. Difficult pass to take. And it's Evans going on his own. And look at that run from Evans. Oh, and a charge down by the Oldham player and the referee giving giving a knock on but that was good good thinking from Evans trying to create a chance from nothing there Jim yes it was unfortunate that the ball uh, rebounded because he'd, uh, he'd made a great run through and had the ball carried on I'm sure he would have gone to the line and Evans would have scored but, uh, we're winning more scrum now as uh, Peter Williams Taking the ball on. A break will break there, there's Mark Lee. And Stalford still putting all them under pressure in this period. Yes, good period of play from Stalford. But just a little bit over elaborate in the forward pass given. Perhaps that pass wasn't quite meant for Shane Hansen. So, scrum down on the 25-yard line, almost in front of the posts, just under 10 minutes to play. Oldham's put in, and Oldham recover the ball. Salford breaking quickly from that scrum to carry on their next tackling stint. And Cogger finally brought down just when he looked as though he might have got clear. More good tackles. And there's a good pass out. Drew the man in. Round, not put down. He keeps the ball alive. And he's found he's seen almost seen the way through himself. That was... Now he's coming out along the line. The men running at pace. But good tackles. Peter Williams and Leota. Oh, well taken by Gil Fillin. Well, that was that was a good take from Gil Fillin. You have very little time to see that ball coming to him. But there's Hadley on going through on his own. And he's will he, will he outsmart everybody? Almost. 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 Well, that was good thinking from Hadley. And in fact, it was Mike Ford. Who, who threatened to obstruct him at one time as he was running through. That Mike Ford man again, Jim. Yes. And uh, fortunately for Oldham, Mike Ford didn't succeed in now, but decided to change his mind. But it was a very enterprising. He saw that there was uh, the fullback was up, there was a gap there, and he kicked for it. Uh, very good move and uh, worthy of more than the result. So you give Oldham the ball, but they're still in their own territory. And Salford's tackling and now sharpened up again and they're, uh, they're holding Oldham. Yes, no way through there. Salford's got the line across the field efficiently. There's a kick up. And it's well taken there by Peter Williams. Yes, great take from Williams. It gives Salford the ball again, still inside the Oldham half. With that man Gibson, so difficult to put around, so elusive, so keen, so keen to be involved in the game all the time, and Oldham penalised. Great run from Sherrod. Now can Salford capitalise on this period of play where they they obviously have the advantage. A nice run through to Leota just pulled back from over the line by the Oldham defence Salford still coming out left 
Oh, but that's going to be a knock-on. Just couldn't get the ball along the line quickly enough because the Oldham defence, the, the Oldham defence was up a little bit more quickly than the defences that we used to see, aren't they, Jim? The Oldham defence up very quickly that time. Yes, uh, they're a the different team. They're a much improved team from the time when Salford early in the season knocked them out of the Lancashire Cup. Now there's a free kick. This will put Oldham in Salford's territory. Another free kick at the scrum. Uh, feet up I think it's saying but there it is they're going to come back here and let's see if we can hold them no they're not out of their own territory no but it was a good kick from Platt if we're thinking of man of the match contenders then uh, Platt uh, has caught the eye with his breaks early on and, and Francis has scored a, a very important try on the Oldham side and here's another break on Oh, he's, he's still on his way. He's still on his way. And it's Arthur Bradshaw who's over there. What a tremendous cover from Arthur Bradshaw. And he's, he's willing his, his, his co-defenders to get back over there and, and keep, keep Oldham out. But that was good play from Oldham and great defence from Bradshaw. And he's Cogger almost through. Tremendous now. So Salford on the defence coming along the line. So, oh... And Clark passes it back to himself. But look at all that ground and it's Platt in the line. Still getting the ball out, but it's Arthur Bradshaw again. Tremendous tackling period from Arthur Bradshaw to, uh, to cover Irving. I think it was on that break for Oldham. So Oldham on attack. Little kick through. Who's got it covered? It's Evans got it covered. Back to Gibson. And Gibson runs away beautifully. Look at this tremendous clearing run from Gibson. And he's clear. Can he go the length of the field? If he can go the length of the field, he's by the try of the season. By by the try of the whole season. He has done. And that's a brilliant try. That's a fabulous try. Well, we were talking about the man of the match contenders. That might make Gibson the man of the match. What a brilliant try. What a tremendous try. Oh, Jim, what can you say about that? You must say that Steve Gibson is the man of the match here for that try alone, but he's done a lot more than that in this game. Yes, a marvellous try. They were attacking. They put that short kick through. Tex Evans ran back to recover it, whipped it up to, into Gibson's hands from his own line, and he went right through the Oldham team and finished off scoring at the other end of the field. A marvellous, marvellous try. Oh, listen, Salford supporters shouting Gibbo. What a tremendous solo effort from probably Salford's man of the match after that today. And Kerry's kick, is it going to go? No, it's just slinging out to the left. No, the man of the match has been chosen uh, and, it's been ch and it's been given to John Fairbank, Oldham prop. But it could have gone to a number of, any, any one of a number of players today. It really has been an excellent game. And Gibson still getting the deserved applause from the Salford supporters at this end of the ground. Tremendous try, tremendous solo effort from Gibson. The whole length of the field having to take on the entire Oldham team. Really is a tremendous finale from the Salford point of view. But it's been a good, good performance from Salford. They've tattled well. They've not been able to create opportunities on, a, on attack. And Salford, at no time have they wilted under the olden pressure. They've kept their game together. They've kept their heads. And you see, even now, right in the dying minutes of the game, still driving forward as hard as they can no more so than than Bradshaw his was a brilliant cover tackle before the Gibson try which and there's Williams just just thinking trying to get through and this is the last tackle going along the line but the ground has been lost but Gilfill nearly through but he gets the ball away but they've lost it it's Irving who jumped on that last ball and made it his. So Salford to carry on tackling. Three tries to one. Three tries to Oldham. Oh, and there's a kick through on the first play. And Evans is back. And he takes it, but he's still being chased. Oh, but well turned by Evans and from Platt. And look at this. He's still going. Can he do 
and he gets his pass out. Now he's out to Hadley. Now what will Hadley do? Can he keep going? Yes, he's going to go down the outside, and he's not going outside. Oh, he chose to go inside, and then he was, in the end, tackled comfortably and put into touch by the prop forward by Donegan. That was brilliant. Brilliant play from Salford. Here we are in the dying seconds, and they're playing as, as well as they played throughout the game. Excellent. So, now it's Oldham. Clark. Cogger. Playing the ball to himself. But then, Hansen being penalised for tackling him after he played the ball. So it's Oldham. The flat kicking for touch. Three tries to one in Oldham's favour. But a good all-round Salford team performance. We know what first division opposition is like. It's tougher, it's stronger, it's faster. It's better organised than some of the teams that they're used to playing. But Salford have matched them in almost every department. But there's Irving through. And there's Irving over in the corner. Over in the very last second of the game. Well, tougher, stronger. If you miss a tackle, they score a try. Jim, he did well to get away. He thought they got him covered. So, that's Bradshaw. Showing how keen he is to get on with the game as soon as possible. Holding the ball for Williams to take the kick off. Self is tackling. Been very good today. Perhaps if they've missed four tackles, that's probably all it is. But unfortunately, those four missed tackles have led to four Oldham tries. Yeah, there's McAllister recovered again, pushing men off. And there's, there's the final whistle. Great game of rugby. Jim, do you want to just tell us highlights of that one? Well, the, no, well, the highlights are there on the video. You can see very well what happened. Uh, Oldham were faster on attack, sharper. Salford played very well. But uh, what really showed was the difference in pace and, and uh, strength of play between the first division and the second division. And Salford will learn many lessons from this, I'm sure. Uh, they needn't be too downhearted. They've uh, contributed to an excellent game of uh, rugby league, which all of them have won well uh, by that score, as, as you can see. But certainly the Salford fans will keep the memory of that brilliant, that wonderful try from Steve Gibson, full length of the field. Uh, not uh, not from an interception, not from a careless pass, but a really th right through the entire Oldham defence and up the field to score. So, but that's it. Now we return to Salford, return back to the league, having been knocked out of this regal tie.